Hey everybody, my name is Chip Kendall and I'm on the missions team here at Audacious Church. I'm outside in my beautiful garden. You might even hear some birds in the background. We've got a really loud bird. There he goes. Anyway, hope you're having a great morning and it is my great joy, privilege, and honor to bring you today's devotion. So I hope you are ready to face this day with the favor of God on your life with the anointing of the Holy Spirit, and with just that passionate friendship with Jesus, that excitement for who he's made you to be and what you can achieve together. Uh, today's verse is in 1 John chapter 2, verse 10, and it says, anyone who loves their brother and sister lives in the light, and there is nothing in them to make them stumble. Wow, love that. Uh, I'm also quoting from St. Catherine of Siena, who said, Be who God meant you to be, and you will set the world on fire. Wow, what a great quote, huh? So, uh, I just wanted to unpack that a little bit. A few days ago, my band and I, the Chip Kendall Band, was invited to go into a Catholic school in Preston, and as a high school, we had such a great time. Oh my days, it was our first proper gig back since the pandemic. And uh, we just did the same set over and over, lesson after lesson, like five times in a row that day. And God did some really beautiful stuff. You know, we were able to have a front row seat to see some of the people impacted by one person in the band's story about struggling with bulimia. Um, we were able to hear people uh, respond to the song that I wrote for my daughter called Front Row. I'm always cheering for you from the front row no matter what you're going through. One girl came up to me and said, um, oh, I hate that song. I said, why? She goes, it makes me cry every time. And I said, all oh, right. So she really secretly loves it. But um, it was just a joy to be there once again doing ministry in that school. So thankful to my band for joining me on that. But these two things uh, stayed with me that day. <clears throat> the, the verse that I just read, 1 John 2, about walking in the light of Christ and uh, showing God's love everywhere that we go to others. And then this quote about setting the world on fire. And as I began to kind of contemplate it and think about it, I realized that there are some parallels here. And these are the things that I want to draw out of it. It reminded me of the idea that when we are walking in God's light, uh, showing the love that he shows us, you know, the overflow of that love. It's a bit like a neighborhood blackout, you know, where I don't know if you've ever been involved in one of these where it's like all the lights go out in the whole neighborhood and everybody kind of spills out onto the streets and they're sharing candles, maybe contacting each other on WhatsApp or whatever, you know, sharing lights, torches, just to find our way around. There's something about a blackout that has the potential to actually bring the community together. And I think it's the same for us when we're walking in God's light and sharing what we've discovered with others, it draws the community together. And then of course, this quote about <clears throat> setting the world on fire by taking responsibility and stewarding the God-given potential that you've been given. Um, again, it's not just for our benefit, but for those around us as well. I couldn't help but draw that parallel that as we are beginning to understand the light of Jesus in us and through us, then we're able to help people, help people who are in darkness. I don't know if you've heard uh, about how the speed of light is like 300 million meters per second, but I was listening to a guy preaching the other day and he said, you know, light travels at 300 million meters per second, but what you don't often think about is that that's how fast darkness retreats. Whoa, big little moment right there. Darkness retreats at 300 million meters per second because where there is light, there can be no darkness. If you've experienced the love of God in your life, if you've experienced the love of the Father, if you've experienced the forgiveness that comes from knowing Jesus as your Lord and your Savior, then you carry already the light of the world within you. How bright is that light to make the darkness retreat? That's my question for you. I really believe that God wants to do incredible things in us and through us today. Stuff that would literally blow our mind, miracles even. So this is a really great opportunity just to kind of still our hearts 
before him now and to just allow him to fan into flame that fire that's going to transform the world. So let me pray with you and, uh, and I hope that this helps you. Uh, one more little thing that I wrote is um, light brings freedom. When we see the path clearly in front of us, we're free to choose which way to go. Not only that, we can see who we're following and who we can help along the way. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, I thank you for each and every person watching this right now. Man, woman, boy, girl, everyone watching. I just pray that if they need to know your light and your love, once again, would you reveal that to them right now as only you can do. Thank you, Father, that you love us so much. In fact, you love us just the way we are, but you love us too much to let us stay that way. God, we ask that you would transform us from the inside out. Give us your eyes to see where you're at work already around us so we can join you in your work. Give us your ears, Lord, to hear the heartbeat of people where they're at so we don't come to them with an answer straight away, but we find out what their questions are first. Lord, I pray that you would give us your hands, your feet to go to those places that maybe other people wouldn't go to. Give us patience, give us wisdom, give us freedom, and give us your light so that we can help others today. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you guys.